They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? Ah, what do we have here? As Yoda taps on Master Chief with a sick a few times, he wakes up, and startled at the sound of a green alien, he pulls out his assault rifle, pointing it at the alien. Need for violence, there's not. Hurt you, I won't. As Master Chief gets up, he begins to circle around Yoda, and says, Where am I? Are you part of the Covenant? And Yoda says, Hmm, on Dagobah you are, in the outer rim. But know of this Covenant, you say, I do not. A question for you I have. Hmm. Where are you from? A stormtrooper, are you? No. A bounty hunter, maybe? Or an outsider? I am John 117, known as Master Chief. I am from the planet Earth. Hmm. An outsider you are, then. No covenant here, no, no, no. As they both hear a noise, they look up and see a ship. Are you sure about that? Mm, sure I am, unless follow you, they did. As Master Yoda begins to meditate, he begins floating off the ground as the ship stops moving, and it explodes. As Yoda slowly returns to the ground and says, Worry about them, you have to no longer. Master Chief stares at the explosion intently, analyzing what must have happened. As Yoda says, The Force, that was my young friend. <laughs> As Yoda returns to his hut, he says, Leave you can. A pod there is for you. Master Chief pauses for a moment and then begins walking, but not to the pod. He goes to Yoda's hut. Mm, so decide to stay you have. The Force, I sense in you. Want to learn from it, you do? As Master Chief nods, Yoda continues saying, Well, my ally is the Force. And a powerful ally it is. Life creates it, makes it grow. Its energy surrounds us and binds us. Emperor, sir, there was a large energy source coming from the Dagobah system, sir. Good, good. Ready all ships. Yes, yeah, yes, sir. R right, right away, sir. Master Yoda, we have finally found you. As Master Chief had just told Yoda about the Covenant and other species from his galaxy. Hmm. Here for a reason you are. The Force has brought you. Know why I do not, but learn about the Force you must. If to learn the ways of the Force you want, and it's what the Force wants, let go. You must unlearn what you have learned. You must do or do not. There is no try. And use the force as it wills, not as you will. I am ready. If your thoughts and ways are pure, help you the force will. If not, you will be destroyed by the dark, dark side, side of the, the force. force. Is strong in you, yes, very, very strong. Good, good. Now strike him down and become my apprentice. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth. Star Killer. I will do whatever you ask, my master. Your first mission is awaiting you. 
You must be decisive, quick, and ruthless, my young Sith apprentice. You must kill the Jedi known as Master Yoda. Do not underestimate him, though he might seem weak from his stature or age. He was the Grand Master of the Jedi Order, a formidable opponent, even for me. I was able to defeat him once, but was not able to destroy him. So you must finish what I, or your father, could not. Yes, my master. I will not fail you. You better not. Luke then left by himself in a starship, knowing that this was his shot to exterminate the Jedi once and for all. As Master Chief was training, Yoda felt a disturbance in the Force. Happened something else. Bad. Horrible. Evil. I feel it too. A disturbance in the Force is the dark side, I sense. Coming for us? Continue. We must. Not much time we have. As Luke lands his ship, he thinks about what a great warrior this Jedi would be to have to defeat Palpatine, his master. He must be greater than Obi-Wan, and much greater than his father. As he used his lightsaber to cut through the vines and trees, he hears, Lost, are you? As Luke looks around, Founds a little green man. He points his lightsaber at this alien. Who are you? Ask you a question first, I did. But answer yours, I will. I am an exile on this planet. But this planet is my home. So now in exile, I am no longer. But I'm home. But again, I will ask you. No, I'm not lost. I'm looking for a great warrior. A Jedi master named Yoda. As Yoda shakes his head and says, mm -mm, Wars do not make one great. War is for power. Great men do not seek power, but peace. A great man is a peaceful and wise man. What do you know of greatness? More than you know. At that moment, Luke realized who he was speaking to and jabs at Master Yoda, saying, Master Yoda, you're shorter than I expected. Mm -hmm. Size matters not. Now, Master Jedi, you will die. Not if anything to say about it. He has. As Master Chief jumps down from the tree and punches Luke in the face, knocking him out. Multiple hours later, Luke wakes up on his way to a landing deck on Coruscant as he is called to Palpatine's chambers. As the Emperor says, Have you completed your mission, my young apprentice? Palpatine already knew the answer but wanted Luke to tell him. So Luke answers saying, No, I'm sorry. Master, I was defeated before the battle had even began, for he had help from a man. Give me another chance and I promise I'll- Silence. As Palpatine continues saying, Another Jedi perhaps. Maybe the reason that explosion happened. This man could be something very useful to find out who and what these are. As from the entrance of the room, two elites and two grunts came forward. These were willing to speak. I will let them live if they help us find this man. As one of the elites says, Was this man green, the one that attacked you? As Luke thought for a moment, he said, Yes, I believe so. Also believe... It was armor, not his skin. As a grunt yells in fear, Demon! It's it's the demon! What does this thing speak of? Palpatine inquired. He speaks of a man, a Spartan, known as Master Chief, whom we have nicknamed the Demon, because of his ability to do anything and everything to stop us, and we have yet to kill him. He seems invincible. They will be no match for the dark side of the Force. Back on Dagobah, Master Chief says, What is this? As he ignites it, Yoda says, A lightsaber, a weapon of the Jedi Knight, it is. Clumsy or random, it is not. Unlike your weapons. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age, it was. But that age long since passed. 
It hurts. The next day, as Master Chief wakes up, Yura says, Today your training will be. Go into this cave, you must. As Yoda points to the cave, he continues saying, Filled with the dark side of the force, it is. Be careful, you must. What is in it? Only what you take with you there will be. As Master Chief begins to walk forward, Yoda says, Need weapons, you will not. Master Chief drops his weapons and continues. As he enters, he sees nothing. And continuing, still sees nothing. And he was confused and almost left. When a man appeared in front of him, it was himself. He had a head of an elite in the body of a flood. As Master Chief reached for his weapon, but remembered what his master had told him. When he came out of the cave, Yoda said, See in there, what did you? Myself, but as your worst nightmare, you were. Mm -mm. Master Chief nodded his head. That is what will happen if you do not follow the Force and join the dark side. You will become what you swore to destroy. I understand. Leave. We must continue your training. As they are leaving the planet, they see the Empire fleet begin bombarding the planet. As Yoda says, Too close we were. Too close. As Master Chief just stared at the bombardment, as he thought of the Covenant and what they had done, he says, Your enemy is my enemy. I will help you defeat the Empire. As Yoda answered him saying, I'm glad. They will be happy to hear that. As the planet appears in front of them, How long this will be? As Chief looks, it's a very grassy planet, but not like a swamp, like a very more open and beautiful planet. As they land, a man comes up and says, Welcome to the base, Grandmaster Yoda. We have missed you. I have missed you. Thank you, Senator Bail Organa. Not Senator anymore, as he chuckles. And Yoda does the same. Who have you brought with you, Grandmaster? Our apprentice of the Force he is. His name, Master Chief. As they shake hands, Bale says, Great to meet you, Master Chief. We need any help we can get. It's nice to meet you, sir. What can I do? You can begin by following me into the control room. And Yoda, there's a person there that you might want to meet. As they walk into this seemingly small bunker, it expands to this huge, heavily armored facility. As Yoda says, mm, Remodel do you have? Yes, thanks to our new friend. As they continue past weapons, tanks, ships, and troops, as they made it to the control room, the door opens, and standing there was Count Dooku. Yoda's eyes opened wide, and he says, Are you? Yes, I am on your side. Not just with the rebellion. I have changed. I have returned to the Jedi wings, Master. Very happy I am to see you, my apprentice. As another man comes up besides Dooku, Mace Windu. Hello, Master Yoda. Old you two are. Not as old as you, Master. As they all have a good laugh, Leia walks in and says, Come on in, guys. As a group of ODSTs, Marines, and a couple Spartans. As an old friend walks up to Master Chief and says, Don't any of you have a cigarette or even a lighter for that matter? Good to see you, Sergeant Johnson. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Master Chief. As Leia interrupted, saying, Sorry to interrupt the reunion, boys, but we have news that the Covenant are here and they mean business. Here's the plan. We are the Covenant and we seek the sacred Halo Rings. Surrender now or face extinction. As Palpatine and Luke looked at each other, Palpatine said, Kill them. Their arrogance will not be tolerated. They will be great subjects for the new weapon. Uh, as you wish, my lord. All staff get your stations immediately and begin the firing sequence. Begin and land and run. Be careful. Tell that to the Covenant. May the Force be with you all. 
As the UNSC forces and rebels alike land at the planet of Endor, they find it burning to the ground. With screams from stormtroopers, their blasters firing, and screaming from some type of creature, as they investigate further, they saw that these little bears, as C-3PO says, they are Ewoks, natives of this moon. Looks like they're on our side, soldiers. Let's help our little friends and show them by what we're made of. As they charge in, taking out most of the stormtroopers, joining the Ewoks with their traps, destroying the ATSTs and speeders, they finally clear out the area. As the ship descends from the sky, it opens, and there is Darth Starkiller. As he ignites his lightsaber, he says, This is your end, my green friend. As he charges Master Chief, as he is forced pushed from the side, as Yoda says, Not to have anything to say about it. I have. As Starkiller snarls at Yoda and begins shooting lightning at him, sending him away. I hope you weren't shocked at my abilities, Master Yoda. Where were they? Oh, Master Chief. He draws his lightsaber once again as Chief does the same. They begin their duel as Dooku and Mace and Yoda all come around taking their turn. Luke was an unstoppable force, using his lightning and pure skill with the blade, until Mace force pushed him off balance as he puts his blade around to his neck. They hear laughing and clapping as Darth Sidious appears. You are back from the dead. I will finally be able to complete Order 60. Six. As a battalion of stormtroopers and death troopers appear from behind him. Han and Chewie, are you ready to engage? Yes, ma'am. I'm always ready to go headfirst into a suicide mission for you, my love. Be safe. May the force be with you. Chewie, let's blow this thing. As they start their attack on the destroyer, a full-out war is taking place between the rebels, Jedi, and the UNC and the Empire. With gunfire everywhere, lightsabers swinging through the air, and force abilities being used, it is a thing of beauty and of horror. As many soldiers die, the dust settles. Blasters quit firing, and only a few remain. As Master Yoda and Master Chief on one side, and Starkiller and Palpatine on the other. As they stood, light and dark, good and evil, the pure and incorruptible spirit of the true Jedi, and the dark and twisted of the Sith Lord. As the blades danced around each other, each blocking and striking with immense precision, the battle was paused. When a blade had pierced the man, it was Starkiller. He had been killed by Master Yoda. As we began to corner Palpatine, he dropped his second lightsaber and begins elegantly dodging and blocking the attacks of the Jedi, as well by adding some counterattacks to environment. As he slices the hand of Yoda and then throws his lightsaber at him, paling him and through the heart, killing him the same way he had killed Starkiller. As Palpatine toys with Master Chief, he was too powerful for him. As Marines come from the west, Palpatine force pushes Master Chief and begins slaughtering the Marines, one by one, with ease and skill and speed never seen by Master Chief. As Master Chief got up and caught his breath, Palpatine says, as he kills the last of the Marines, You have lost, Jedi. All of you rebels who oppose me and my empire will die, and I will start with you, Jedi scum. You will die, and I will rule this galaxy for eternity. That's not going to happen. As he ignites his lightsaber and says, Let's finish this fight. So be it, Jedi. As Master Chief charges at Palpatine and their duel begins, he attacks Palpatine with a renewed precision and strength. He dodges all of Palpatine's attacks and counters with perfect accuracy, even knocking Palpatine's lightsaber out of his hands. And stands over him as he is blasted with blood. As Palpatine laughs, now standing over him, he is shocked more and more until it starts burning him alive as he accepts death and shuts his eyes. But if only that were true. For in a moment he was killed, the Emperor had fallen, not by a so-called Jedi, by a hero with a lightsaber. As Sergeant Johnson came, seeing the predicament Chief was in, grabbed Chief's lifesaber and stabbed Palpatine through the back, killing him. As he moves Palpatine out of the way, he sees Chief lying on the ground, as other Marines show up saying they had turned off the shield for the Death Star. As Sergeant Johnson says, we're not leaving him here. Yeah. You're not. Sergeant Johnson picks him up as they embrace each other 
They hear an explosion above them as the Death Star explodes, as everyone cheers, and Sergeant Johnson says, That dang thing is gone. I'm gone for good. No, I think we're just getting started. That's the end. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. It really means a lot. And if you like this video, you should check out this one. I bet you'll like it. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.